we join Vagabond, recuperating after a very long, very, very long training expedition. Body is much stronger than it was before, though it aches both with the residual pain of numerous injuries and also with hunger. We've mostly fixed the starvation, at the very least. And walking out of this place, it's definitely a spring to Vagabond step. It's definitely a change in the air, or in addition to the toughness, there's been a sense of confidence that has been instilled into her. So we need to train train to get much better uh, in order to fight our foe uh, to be determined <laughs> to fight the major powers oh whoops did not mean to just tank a bunch of blows there we can sort of uh maybe defeat hungry man so i'm not quite sure I've mostly just been letting them attack me up until now Kind of looks like we're not quite strong enough. If we can get like a couple good windshield wipers in, we'll be uh, able to get some good attack XP. We're genuinely not taking that much damage from each blow, which is pretty cool. Got a solid minus 30% damage taken. If there is another positive, because we are always outnumbered, we're going to be getting much more experience than in a normal playthrough. There is an outnumbered XP stat, which is why even fighting these hungry bandits is a source of like a good XP. Though ideally we'd want to be fighting tougher bandits. Honestly, if I can get my defense to 30, or maybe like 35, I could definitely do battle with beak things. Should be pretty good. Oh, we got the jiggle! Let's fucking go. So if you don't know, because they instantaneously attacked us while we were down, just got to get the toughness XP from getting up without having suffered the penalty of getting up. Let's go. I'm getting a little more toughness XP ain't bad, that's for freaking sure. <laughs> Bro, let's go. That's level 74 toughness. Oh no, she instantly got up that time. Now honestly, what a ridiculous boon this uh, Hungry Bandy group was. Just a bunch of free XP. Up to toughness 75 now. We got a downed one to train on as well. Look, they're leaving them behind anyways. Honestly, you might as well just duke it out. Let's maximize the XP from this group. Go down or stay up, we're happy either way. Oof, nice windshield wiper. Two more down. They have knocked us unconscious. Come on, bros. Gotta do better than that. I still got 50 HP to go. How far did we get from the way station? We might have to go back. In fact, I think we probably should. Maybe they'll uh, let us use that bed for free. That'd be pretty nice. Not 100% likely, though. I think it's more than a day since I've rented it. Well, I mean, we got like 10 defense level ups and 5 attack level ups. That's pretty much as good as you'd want from an early fight. I think we might actually be... I think it's beak thing hunting time soon. It's going to be my source of XP. Next, I'm going to go to... I was going to say Vayne, but to be honest, like the oasises over here are nice. 
nice infinite source of beak things and band of bone dudes and dust bandits. That's like the next level zone, pretty much. So that will be our next objective. After we get some shut eye, of course. Bro, someone's in my bed? Are you kidding me? What the fuck are you doing, Ninja Guard? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we did get it for free. Let's go. It's trying to prevent me from getting that free refill. So beak things are nice because their attack speed is glacially slow, to put it lightly. So even if your character like miss blocks or whatever, they can correct their block in time sometimes, which is really good. Helps with like uh, the lucky hits characters the enemy sometimes get. Additionally, they have giant amounts of HP, but very low uh, attack rate. And yet, decent stats as well. So it's a training that I would normally do in my mid-30s, but I think if a big thing is eating me alive and I get up, it will run away. So that is my sort of thinking. I want to get slightly more food. Is there something that doesn't suck money-wise? Food cube is okay, but super expensive. Guess I'll grab a bite of bread. Just consume the whole loaf. I want to get my hunger, like, semi-decent. Oh, come on, bro. Uh, man, honestly, you know what? It's fortuitous. I'm gonna not look at him. If you didn't know, uh, if your camera is not looking at enemies, they will Mario Kart. I'm gonna bring these hungry bandits to help with the big things, or more accurately, I want them to tank the big things a little bit. I want to just fight one big thing at a time. And where is big thing? Come on, bro. Surely there's one out here somewhere. Worst case scenario, we can uh, fight these hungry bandits and then attract the beak things via the hungry bandit corpses. In fact, I think that is my plan. Make it less likely I'm the one who's eaten when I go down as well. So we'll get a little bit more training in. In pretty good swings in. The hunger bandits do technically give like better dexterity training, I think. Well, no, dexterity benefits from the stronger opponent XP, but if you hit more than one opponent, you get like XP on every single swing. Right, can I get a windshield wiper? No. Let's see how it is. What is our dex at? 16. That's not terrible. It's actually pretty good. There we go. That's another get up while playing dead as well. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to make camp because we're kind of screwed up HP wise. Can wait for the beak things to come be drawn by the smell of blood. Oh my god, there they are. What's this big thing doing? Oh, it's attacking uh, some hungry bandits. How's my HP looking? Could be better. Let me keep an eye on that big thing. In fact, I'd like to aggro it. Let's get it like coming over. And bring it over these bodies. Oh, nice block, Vagabond. So each one of these strikes is kind of incredibly scary. But we're getting... Huge, like 11% defense XP. 
every single time we, uh, or uh, offense every XP every t single time we hit. Can uh, benefit from a little bit of uh, bandaging as well. So we're gonna need to be in tip top condition. Nice block. Oof. Alright, the big thing's running away. Well, that could have gone better. Honed our attack a little bit at least. And that does prove my theory. It's also incredibly nice. How tough are our band of bones, guys? 26s in their attacks and defense. I kind of think I should rest before I fuck around with them. There's always going to be more, like, band of bones to fight. Oh, there's the beak thing. I mean, honestly, we might want to go for round two against the sucker. Up to 50-ish HP. There's only so many solo beak things out there. I think I'm going to do it. Oh no, the Hungry Bandits are here. Well, honestly, pretty sure gutters are enemies of all. So they can go destroy these Hungry Bandits. Come on, bro. Fucking stop fighting with me. Are they beating it? There's no way. Okay, single, single hungry band in one's fight. I'm game. Let the other guy's wounds this beak thing as much as possible. Then get some back smacks in. Dude, let's go. Want some free meat for me? Set up a little campfire next to our camp. Cook that shit up. Be done in the morning. And so that'll feed us. For the coming days. It's good because we're getting a little hungry. At sunset we kick out the campfire. Begin work. The work of finding another group of foes to fight. Preferably not a group of three beak things. I am quite fond of the idea of finding some band bone dudes. Brawling it out with them. That's what they're into anyway, so. Wait, hold on. We've got a solo beak thing who seems to have taken out a group of dust bandits. That is kind of perfect. It's a slightly dangerous fight, but... Perfect training partner. I think we started the fight at 19 attack, so it'll be something I check. 29 defense, maybe 28. Let's just say 29. Uh, I need to patch up my stomach real quick. Another benefit of big things is they're infinitely kindable. Come on, vagabond. <laughs> you gotta start actually fucking blocking. Stop getting hit in the stomach. What's the chances of getting hit in the stomach? Two good swings. Nice windshield wiper. Nice last minute block. Oh, thank goodness it hit the head. It's the most protected part of our body. Almost got the peak thing down. It's got two hits on us. Bruh. 
Oh, there we go. We got two swings on it. Nice last minute block. Glorious. We actually got it down from Bloodlust, which I am completely content with. Yeah, I actually defeated the big thing. We're up to 22 attack, 30 defense, 22 decks. Theoretically speaking, we're only going to get faster than our uh, big thing kills. I think that is a Dust Bandit encampment over there. So that might be a worthy next opponent. Honestly, it might... I don't know, but it might be worth go going up to the Smuggler's Bar. Resting there. It's like right here, I think. And sometimes get big things up that high. Well, we legitimately, there's no reason to fight. We're not at full HP at this point. All the big things damage, I think, is cutting, so... Really mess up our ability to get up. Easy. Well, actually, you know what? I take it back. Where's that? Camp. I'm gonna go over there. After I get the sleeping bag. Because if I can get injuries on not the stomach, then... That'll be more efficient healing. There's just one small group of the Hungry Bandits, or the Dust Bandits. It's perfect. Just alluring them a little bit back, so that if I do go down... <laughs> noise. If I do go down, it's not a big deal. Getting some good combos. I think we're at 22 attack, if I remember correctly. So this will be a good test to see. How much XP we're getting from the Dust Banditos, if it's better than the Beak Things or not. It's definitely more dangerous than the Beak Thing. I think. 23 attack, 31 defense. Oh uh, great, they're fighting uh, Nomads. Oh, they actually fucking beat the shit out of the Nomads. Need to reposition so the bolts hit the fucking guy. Dude, we got the dust boss. Let's go. Dude, is he gonna steal my fucking dried meat, bastard? It's getting a little, a little HP agent. See, there's a whole ass other group of dust bandits. noise. Oh, well, there's some nomads who got back up. Don't worry, nomads. I'll be there to help soon, surely. Oh man, that nomad's hanging in there. Wait, who is that? Peace Tech Hunters? Yo. He might have a gear upgrade for me. I need to go steal that shit. I'm sorry, Peace, but, you know, I'll fix you up. Still unconscious. <laughs> Yo. Dude. Uh, I'm good on first aid. That's actually the fucking hugest upgrade ever. Yeah, the Assassin's Rags will make my training uh, less good, but it will provide more protection. As will the best. Like, it's 17% instead of 8% uh, 50, and it's 75%. Yeah, the coverage isn't as good, but it gives me combat speed. The cloth pants are a humongous upgrade. The shirts is giving me more protection than the ninja rags did. Let's see, what's this guy got on him? Nothing. Why well, don't want to kill the pack beast? Honestly, with how effed up I am, I think I will migrate over to the uh, super bar. Now, assuming I can even make it there. 
and a few hungry bandits are. I mean, they're kind of a pretty big threat right now, because I have no, uh... If I get hit in the wrong place once, I'm just gonna go down. But I do do an insane amount of damage each swing to them. Uh, excuse me? Is he medicking that fucking hungry bandit? What a dumb fuck. Well, there goes my dried meat once again. And you those guys for state kit. We'll fight these uh, dust bandits as well. This is absolutely cursed. A little bit more defense, a little bit more toughness. We're up to 34 defense, 25 attack. Oh, uh, this nomad wasn't even going to be able to heal himself. How's he had a coma? Because his chest was kind of screwed. There isn't like a hotel in the nomad's place, right? It's just a shop. Yeah, residential, residential, residential. I mean, it says it's all public. I might as well take a look. If I can sleep here, that would be... You know, and if there is a bed, more importantly, that would be really, really, really great. Alright, let's see. Got a bad feeling about this one. Look off. I Talking shit about me, right in front of me. The, the same here, private beds. Don't suppose the beds in here are for sale? No. Dude, the nomads are getting their fucking asses kicked. Just completely. It's kind of insane. I really need to buy a splint kit. I think that would go pretty hard. Alright, where's the bar? I think it's like on the edge near Venge. Might be able to buy a splint kit there. Oh, thank goodness. Here it is. It's a blood spider, which is fucking absolutely terrifying. And a couple beak things. There's the bar. No first aid kits, huh? Well. That's fine. Dude, you can just sleep here for free? Okay, that's cool. We definitely could have healed quicker just by staying in the camp bed, but... I think this would be an important spot for us. We have trained, trained in Shem to an extreme degree, and the results are very glorious. 25 dex, 25 attack, 34 defense. We're really getting there, and can now rumble, maybe not successfully with Dust Bandits, but we can get some licks in. I'd say, made pretty good progress this episode. Vagabond is growing considerably stronger by the day. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Kenshi. Goodbye!